while we have our mulch materials out, it's time to get the soil ready for planting fall potatoes. And potatoes like a cool soil. And if you're planting them in July and August, it's hard to have a cool soil in Oklahoma without a little bit of preparation ahead of time. In our raised bed garden here, we're getting it loosened up, and then we'll be moistening it down and putting on some straw to insulate that soil for several days, get it cooled down before we put the potatoes in. Cooling that soil is really important because you have to remember that and keep in mind that potatoes are a basically a cool season crop and that they respond better to cool soil temperatures and that's why we plant potatoes here in Oklahoma in the spring is because that is when the soil is cool. But you can fool them into thinking that it's spring just by trying to to uh, make the soil cooler. When soil is loose and well aerated like this and the water moves through, drains well, and we get uh, air movement through the soil, you're going to find that it's easier to cool the soil. So if you're thinking about planting fall potatoes in your garden, a soil that's well supplied with organic matter is going to do much better than a tight soil or a sandy soil. Now, I know some gardeners who like to grow potatoes directly in mulch. And the problem with that is that it may stay even warmer than a regular soil would. So for your fall potatoes, it might be a good idea to plan to grow directly in soil, but keep it mulched heavily on top. Now Sue's doing something there that I sure like to do, and that's dig a little bit of a trench. Now, where we're planning on planting potatoes uh, in another week or so, this gives us uh, room to allow some water to accumulate. We'll water the soil down well, just again to cool the soil temperature some now, but then also have it well supplied with moisture when we go ahead and plant these later on in the season. Fall potatoes in Oklahoma should go in sometime between 1st of August and August the 15th or August the 20th. If you get much past August the 20th, you're really getting a little bit late on them. Now you might find that seed potatoes are hard to find this time of year. And hopefully you saved some from your summer harvest. In a few weeks though, when we come back to plant this, we'll give you some ideas on how to possibly find some seed potatoes at your grocery store and fool them into sprouting. So you can go ahead and plant those if you can't find fall seed potatoes. We're gonna loosely cover this with straw now to hold the uh, moisture in and, and continue to cool the soil. Then when we come in and plant our potatoes, we can rake the mulch back, plant the potatoes, and then just uh, use this mulch at that time to cover them over again to help them keep cool while they germinate. Well, while we're getting ready to plant potatoes, we're right in the middle of squash harvest. We have both summer and winter squashes planted in this bed. This particular squash is patty pan. Now these two patty pan squashes may be typical of what you're finding in your garden if you've missed the harvest periods. These are way, way over mature. Patty pan squash is grown as what we call a summer squash. And that means that we harvest it in the immature stage. I have one back here that's about as large as you want to get on harvesting a patty pan squash. The skin should be tender and easy to pierce with your thumbnail. Very soft. And there are some squashes that we raise as winter squash. That doesn't mean it likes cool weather. It means that it's harvested to be stored through the winter. Spaghetti squash is a prime example. Spaghetti squash right here is only about half grown. Its skin is still very, still very tender, easy to be dented with the fingernail, so we know that it must mature more. It needs to have a hardened tissue, sort of like pumpkins, for it to be harvested on time. Now all of these squashes that you may be growing in your garden are probably starting to look a little pale right now, as are ours. We're going to side dress them with some nitrogen, get a little green color back into them, and keep them producing for the summer. Something else we need to be doing right now is planting pumpkins if you want to harvest them for the fall for Halloween. A lot of people plant their entire garden in April and May, and then they'll call the extension office and want to know why their pumpkins are turning orange in the middle to the end of July, and how can they hold them until Halloween? Well, it's just not possible to hold them. You have to go ahead and process them for pumpkin pies or whatever. But right now is the time to sow pumpkin seed for fall pumpkins. 
And a good variety of pumpkin to try would be autumn gold because it turns yellow way before harvest time, early in the season.